A gruesome murder in Kamalota village has left the community in shock and mourning. On Sunday morning, the decomposing body of 58-year-old Belham Guzman was found in a bushy area off the George Price Highway after he was reported missing. He was discovered lying face up, wrapped in a white comforter, with his hands and feet bound with an extension cord. Assistant Commissioner of Police, Alberto Romero, says he had been chopped to death and dumped at the location. Police visited Kamalote village about 150 feet off the highway where they saw the lifeless body of a male person. He was identified as Belhem Guzman of the area of Kamalote. Uh, he had injuries to his body, chop wounds. Uh, he was taken where he was pronounced dead on arrival at the medical facility. An investigation is being carried out at this time and uh, we have no suspects at this time. Guzman was last seen alive on Thursday when he left home. Since then, his family had been working to locate him. His brother, Telford Guzman, says they had initially thought he was injured while walking on the highway. When we you now see him, people see him every day, he, every, every day he walks on the road. Uh, he lives by house by himself. He I make one trip or two, you trust me. <coughs> so what does the family believe happened in because it's something like this is a very well known thing. Well we believe that the man may get drunk or maybe stray and the weather and everything we may believe that they get hang up somewhere by weaknesses are drunk drop and I don't know he know usually go down no he know he know usually the cut off go down nobody house he just stay up on the road his family says Guzman was well known and didn't have any enemies. So why would someone want him dead? ACP Romero says investigators are working to establish a motive. We do not know at this time. The investigation is not going right now. But no we motive have for uh, no motive at this time. No. While the police nor Guzman's family have no clue why he was callously murdered, his brother believes Guzman may have known his killer or killers. I believe that somebody from the village, yeah. Like, uh, watch this part where we'll find out, right? And the person who do it, or persons, they get help. Like, uh, he never that light, they never had that light person in a weight. And where the body find from the roadside, they in a sheet. And I don't know rich people. Now poor people, they look like someone they see a sheet where they does they sleep on because you could see the kind of sheet, right? Like blanket sheet, two, two different pieces. And they had one rope tie, one um, electric card. But I believe somebody may they try pull while the rest of the and uh, the hand, hand me tie behind her and things like that. So they restrain her before they really Guzman's family says that similar to when their loved one was wronged in the past, they will be leaving vengeance to the Lord and justice to the police. Here I don't know about the violence or so say he take up one challenge because you know, for his lifetime enough people like chanting all kind of way. We never try to respond to it for say go to the people and cause one big problem, right? But the things they were do to him, that serious thing already. And next day he ready for will attack or drink with me. She don't have a violence person for say, one person where they respond to not nor have grieve. Uh, no, as we know. Vigil Alvarez, Love News.